Hello, welcome in to the stream everybody, welcome on in, we're getting ourselves started here. You can see in the title, we are down to the last two races before we end the championship. And you can see we are holding, but we are so close by the Ferrari, which is so far and dead behind us, so are we going to be able to withstand them for the last two races? Third gen, nobody. Thank you so much for the lurk itself. Oh, <laughs> come on in. We're down to the last race, and let's see if we can finish the championship for the last two races of the season. I'm trying to finish this race before the new F1 manager comes out at the end of the month. The carnival atmosphere has already started here in Sao Paulo as Brazil welcomes the Formula One Grand Prix. The autodromo Jose Carlos Pache has been a staple of the racing calendar for decades. And soon, we'll once again be watching the best drivers in the world give it their all. The Sao Paulo track is beautifully designed to present an enticing challenge for teams and drivers alike. Between medium speed S corners, hill climbs, and the high speed section after Jun Sao, this circuit calls for cars to have a balanced setup to succeed here. With the season nearly concluded, time is running out for the teams. Can anyone make a last minute breakthrough? Can the leading drivers hold on? Only time will tell. The weekend begins here. Hung Truce, welcome on in. Welcome on in. The last two races, I'm nervous to see how this is going to go. I know I'm going to be aggressive, but I got to end up first, make sure my setup's all correctly. Before I do anything, I got to make sure that I'm able to go on track properly. Because if I don't have my correct setup, I'm not going to succeed. And I've been doing this proceeding with the track. Make sure I have everything correctly. Let's see here. Hey, listen. Alrighty then, thank you so much, Drews. Okay. How many can this thing take? Twenty. <laughs> They're both fitted with the components, and now we're going to go on track. Time to go on track, everybody. Radio check. Green light. Race control has given us the DRS enabled, so let's get on track and see how far we're going to get. We're going to be the first ones on track, so we are going to be having to warm up these tires quite a bit. So, but a team has a Magnuson coming right behind us, but we're going to be still trying to get these lap times correctly put in, as well as seeing if our technical data is going to be properly put in. But the only thing that I'm worrying about is the Ferrari getting the jump onto us. That's the only thing I'm worried about is that Ferrari's going to take the jump on to us. Uh, we'll see. 
They're barely keeping them at a bay. As you can see, their timings are getting pretty good. We got to improve our timings. So that's where I'm at, trying to debate what are we having to do. A balance check when you can. Okay. Let's see. His balance check is for him. He's good. Great. 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 And good. So gonna drop this down to a five. Ten. Three point seven. Bring this to three point five. There's set of tires on goes on to the car. Are we having the same thing? It's not like I'm trying to do this on purpose, but it seems like they're having the same thing like same setup but that's what it looks like I'm gonna have to get their setup properly but whoever could take this would be the best one out of this our set soft and go boss check well that's good Really good job. Cop it. So right now we're finishing up our setup. We're trying to adjust everything because our vehicle works when we have optimal performance for some reason. Everything else, it doesn't work out. Sounds like a spin. Let's go ahead and see our technical data here. And we still don't improve our timing still. We're still in the getting amount of gap. Oh, gearbox wearing out. Darn. I'm gonna have to change that gearbox soon. See what's your gearbox? Oh, we've had a spin. Well, the gearbox be messing I us up. Run wide. Come on, let's get this set up good. We definitely need a good setup for the race itself. It's a balance check, balance check. So we're going to adjust that once we get into the next quarter. I'm not going to adjust very much right now. Give me a balance check. Seriously. Yeah, that's okay. Move up. Okay, I know. Copy. Can we change those? Yes, you're coming into the pits. Copy that. You're in the box. What are you complaining about? You're in the pit box. Seriously. You got everything under control. We'll fix our setup for the next quarter. Right now, first quarter is already completed. And we're not going to do any setup right now. We still have to get a Safford a new gearbox before I the next. That was a crash, a crash let's huh? What happened there. Now let's look. We're watching Nicholas Latifi. Dear me, they won't have been expecting that. Front wing, underbody, damage. That's definitely going to be quite a bit of damage to repair. 
I'm not very concerned right now. We're gonna fix our setup in a moment. There's been a crash. Oh, another Let's one. All eyes on Kevin Magnuson here. Same spot. That crash is terrible news for the team. Same area, front wing, underbody damage. Everybody seems to be not able to hold out on that cor curve. They're going way too fast into that curve and not able to brake in time. Uh, section is over. Okay. Are you serious? The good gearbox is what I was using? Ugh. So I only got the 42 gearbox. So I'm gonna have to give up for another gearbox. So I gotta give up one of my positions for a new gearbox and I might as well get this one done as well. Yeah. So let's take a look at our setup at the moment. Or we're on Hamilton setup, so we got a good here. This one went good. So great still. This one's so good. This one went to bad. Uh, let's see. It says 6.5. It said 3.5. All the way to the end. To 2.5. 7.5. We're going to do another setup with that. So we're going to do another 20 laps onto that one. So his was good, still great, except for the bottom one. Hmm. I'm going to 50, 40, 8, 5, I'm going to still keep that the same. Still there. We're gonna use this gearbox, get that used up before we use the new one. We're gonna give them both new gearbox for this race. So on the last race, we could take the penalty itself. So that's where we're gonna go on and let's get out there and finish off. Please give us a radio check on the back of radio. Yeah, radio check. Green light. <laughs> little dragon seems to be a little bit sad, it seems like. Let's give it this. I think we've had a car run wide. Sounds like we've had a spin. Why is it angry? Why does it look angry? That's aggressive here. 
We've just had a spin. Ah! Ah! Let's take a look at the replay. It's broken! And he's still... He's oh. off. Fuck! I don't know, Stafford. You wrecked... It was your own wrecking of your own power. The team are really disappointed with that. Let's hope it doesn't set them back too badly. It is gonna set us back badly. Let's take a closer look. We're just watching the Red Bull. Seriously, Stafford, you just had to go a little too much. And that was a bitter blow for the team. And it may have really hurt their overall chances. So now we have no choice but to have that spare gearbox ready to go. Okay, since I can't do Stafford, so now I got to do Hamil Hamilton setup, so. So we'll just bring that up to five up here, and I think that's the slightest change I got to do. Stafford, Stafford, you really should have not have wrecked. Now you got yourself that your setup may not be good enough for the upcoming race. That sounds like someone's gone wide there. Ugh. Well, of course. But he hit in a different turn. Everybody was wrecking on the start finish log. We ended up getting crashed out onto the curve itself and out before here. I don't understand how could he end up wrecking that badly. But luckily, I have spare components. Those spare components are definitely what makes a difference from this season versus my other seasons. We've been upgrading and keeping an eye on our stuff and always have spare parts available. I think I have not chose any emergency parts, not once. But if we have to, this will be the first time driving emergency parts. Because we always have the parts pretty much a good amount of time. Give us a balance check. You there you go, 100%. That's what we're talking about. Copy that. There we go, well then. Hamilton is all ready for the last practice round. Still, he should have not ended up wrecking that badly. He sh I just can't answer for him. For some reason, he just cannot keep... Stafford, I don't know. He should have been able to hold out, but he didn't. Next session, we're going to go ahead and do our pit strategies for the race itself. I just can't wait for this upcoming. We got the new F1 manager coming out at the end of the month of July. So I am looking forward to that. So I am trying to finish up this game's F1 manager before the new one comes Welcome out. Welcome back as we continue our race weekend with practice soon to finish and then qualifying hot on its heels. Whoever said every second counts 
clearly haven't reveled in the sport of Formula One, where grid positions can be decided by thousandths of a second. The drivers competing today are amongst the finest in the world, but the margins are even finer. And as you can probably guess, there is no margin for error. So get yourselves comfortable. It's going to be quite the ride. So right now, I'm probably going to go ahead and do a medium send. So we're going to do a 30 laps with this one. Ah, uh, I can't tell with yours. So I'm going to have to put you on a 30 lap stint since I can't finish up your setup just yet. But I had to assume. See what would have happened if we would have put that new gearbox? We would have lost it. And look, we saved it from a new gearbox. So we saved ourselves with a headache and pain. Radio check. Radio check confirmed. Yeah, radio check. Go. It's green light. So give us an update. Oh, that's good. Really good job. Copy. Now, now finally it gives us the technical data that we were looking for. So this one was optimized. This one was great. This one was optimized. This one was good. This one is now optimized. So this one, I need to drop this down to its 1.9. This one's all the way to one. This is for 350. And the other one's 75. We're still good with the amount. We didn't use too many laps on there. So we are still good. We still have Hamilton on track still, still making those positions still. Look at that, a medium set and one second behind Hamilton. One second of a difference. And there he goes. Zafford has taken first place. And now Hamilton is now in second. And let's see. Mr. Crazy Man, welcome on in. Welcome on in, Mr. Crazy Man. Hey, listen. Mr. Crazy Man's been inside Fortnite for so much times that I've seen him on there, so he's always active in there. If you guys haven't followed him, go ahead and give him a follow, guys. He's so far active person. So. <laughs> Let's see the technical. There we go. There we go, hundred percent. So both both vehicles hundred percent. Just what I wanted. So everything's all optimized. Now it's everything by track. Now it's by the drivers now. My data on my side is done. Now it's up to the drivers. The drivers make the difference on there, so it's not my Copy that. Hey, Fib. Check my tires. We already have you confirmed. You have box box. And now we're sending you back on on track. Oh, I'm 
We know that. Copy that. And were you happy uh, with the bitch pass, like the last few laps? Go. Go with the timing. Stafford and Hamilton are almost clocking on almost the same amount of timing. But still, the Ferrari is still close by to us. So we can't sit pretty here in the corner knowing that Ferrari is that far closer to us. Sounds like a spin. Don't lock up. We need everything throughout the race, so we don't want you to lose everything. Sounds like someone's locked up. Feels like someone's going over the bridge. We copy you. Okay, Roger. Can we change dice? We're already at the end of the session, so no. Accident. Accident up front. Okay, who had a rack up here? Okay. Qualifying one. I'm going to put an extra lap of fuel because these guys have been known to end up going by the pit road. Let's see, any components? I am going to put this new gearbox on the car itself. Yes, I know we're going to be succeeding our gearbox, but radio check. Radio check confirmed. Yeah, radio check. Top of the table itself. There we go. Top of the table there. So our timesheet is pretty good. And solid. Everybody got to still set at lap time still. So we're sitting pretty here with our first, but we are going to go back on track and put another lap time on there. Green light, green light, go. Here you go. And we're sitting free with first and second place lockout. There we go. I think there's been a lockout. There we go. We're not going to use a new pair of softs. We are going to use our current one we are using. We're still having that one extra lap still. We have Mercedes in the bunch. Because we had an 
somebody came out on track when we were setting our lap time. And there's the Ferrari trying to make it lap time much more better than us. So now we're going to try to see if we can make up that lap time. And no, we do not improve, but we are going to sit in third and fourth on this lap round. The Ferrari is trying to take it from us, and it looks like we're going to be sitting back here a little bit further than we expected, but we're still holding tightly. Sheesh, everybody's improving a lot more better than us. Go. Come on, nobody get. We're trying to set our lamp times before everybody gets out, and we do get that. We do get purple sectors in there. We know that. We see that. We're going to be alone on track, and we're going to be good, setting them some good lap time through. And we get, there we go. We set the perfect lap time through these two. And are we going to keep first and second? And we hold tightly in front of Ferrari. We held Ferrari this time around. But let's see if the race will have the same victory right now. has arrived and the time has come for these drivers to fight it out wheel to wheel the work red bull did during qualifying was nothing short of spectacular now let's see if they can repeat that for today's race we saw a solid qualifying performance from ferrari and they're sure to have their chance to push even further during the race and the sky is looking gray and cloudy today an effective tire strategy could prove very valuable as the race plays out as ever, though, the teams will be paying close attention to their strategies as the race approaches. Here we go, folks. This is the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. <sighs> Here we go again. Let's see what our strategy would be. So far, it'll be a cloudy, so I am going to end up doing... Let's see. I think I'm going to start off the strategy with a hard compound and then we're going to finish off with a medium compound at the end. Ah, oh, this one's a little bit more rougher on there. Maybe not. We're going to do strategy Thirty laps. So we want to run on reds. Oh. Very much a good strategy to needs to be developed here. Okay, that's our plan for the strategy. We're going to start off with the hard compound. And then we're going to go up to...
So this is will be our strategy for today. We're going to be doing the same strategy. So Well guys, this is the best we're gonna get. Let's get on track and see what we're gonna do. The drivers have now taken position on the grid and it's looking like a cloudy day. Taking a look at Max Verstappen. He won today. Let's see if they can take advantage of that position. Looking down the grid, it's Hamilton. After an impressive qualifying performance, they're starting today just behind pole and we're just moments away now who will win only time will tell here at the sao paulo grand prix and it's lights out and away we go out, and away we go there we go and let's see the strategy for today everybody's on medium compounds we are all gonna be Everybody else is going to be on the medium compounds. We're on the hard, so we are going to be on the much more less aggressive, I would say, because right now we are taking both pull. We're blocking Ferrari from overtaking us. And we're still in front with the hard compounds, with everybody else that are medium. Only the team has, has the soft compound. Everybody's on the mediums. So we are going to have a different kind of strategy than everybody else on track. So we are going to be running with a double scent of a two hards with a medium type at the very end of the race or soft, depending on how close this race is going to go. And we'll complete the first lap with both of us in first and second place. No changes. It's going to be a long haul trying to get the 71 laps straight through. That a car has run wide. I guess that tells you. Mercedes is not getting very far with their team, former teammate Lewis Hamilton with them. They are struggling. DRS has been enabled. Oh, that. Because right now we have full throttle fuel because we have more fuel than the other vehicles behind us. So they are not going to be, we're a little bit on the heavier, but we're able to keep ourselves floor it down on the ground to maintaining ourselves high speed through. Okay, it looks like the streaming seems to be working fine.
Ugh. Hard to imagine the last two races of the season, and we're already to that close. Yeah. <sighs> Why would they be running wine? What was that? Huh? Johnny, are you just pulling my leg or something? Pop it down. He's lost his lap. Still, you can see Ferrari and us are sort of pulling away from everybody else. There's starting to be a huge gap in between everybody else, it seems like. The top teams are sort of fighting against for the pole position itself. I don't know how this is going to go because we have Ferrari scorching right behind us. DRS down the straightway, and we're going to go ahead and try to get some distance, but they're just catching up to us like a speeding bullet to us. Ugh. Take it easy, you two. Ah, you too, settle down. Jeez Louise. These guys are relentless, it seems like. I would have liked if it would have been one of ours. Okay. Would have liked if one of the Ferraris had spun out, then that would have leave us with just one. We're gonna have to go with this. We're gonna have to deploy. Because we have to get away from them. They're pulling us too far back. A 
Look at them. They're right on our tail right there. We've got to hold them back for somehow. Deploy to Eris, guys. Let's get out of their way. we got to get out of this situation here. Just deploy it. Use it all. And we're trying to use it, but yet we don't have enough spin through to be able to use it through the straightways. Sheesh. Come on, use it. Trying to get away from the Ferrari team. Your fastest man on track. There we go. Fastest lap still locked into us. Now you can see the Ferrari is starting to have a small distance between us, but we're still holding too much of it to each other still. Uh, we got to get some more distance from them. They're just too close to us. Just too darn close to us. We're still relatively early into the race, but I would like to stay away from the Ferrari if possible. Because we need more distance gap away from them. So watch out for the RS. Yeah, yeah. So we're low on battery at the moment. We'll charge a bit the pack. Okay. Jeez, these two side by side, they're just equal parts. It's just so far, uh. But with everybody, they're already on 70% or less. We are the ones still holding strong still, but we are. We're slowly but surely trying to raise the gap between the Ferrari and us. Right now, Ferrari is trying to make up our lost ground of us recharging our batteries still, so. But because we're using high fuel, it's compensating for us losing some momentum speed. Ugh, come on. When everybody's starting to roll pit stops, we'll see how everybody's going to fare. Because for us, we are going to be having a pit on lap 30. For Hamilton, 29 for Stafford. So they're not double stacking unless we get a virtual or safety car. And it looks the ERS, the ERS deployment that we did early in the race is starting to pay off because we're now getting a little bit of a distance between the Ferrari itself. So we are starting to get our gap in between them. But they're going to try to do the same way, try to slipstream, try to catch up to us. But I wonder if that will be enough for them to catch up. They're not that far away from us. To the car behind is three point. Five two two. So we're still trying to keep ourselves away. <sighs> we're trying to 
Keep it going, guys. We don't want to lose our momentum. Since everybody's on medium, they're probably going to switch to the hards. We may switch to mediums and then switch to the soft compound at the very end if we get make our stint long enough. Right now we're recharging the battery pack, so I wonder if us cooling down our tires by keeping everything else still the same. That is the good question if we're going to be able to do that. Battery pack seems to be filled, but we are going to try to see if we can do another full deployment. We're going to do the same thing. We are going to make ourselves a little bit farther away from the Ferrari themselves by using it after recharging it. We're going to reuse it again. Instead of saving on the tires right now, we are going to use it to make our distance much more greater than to make ourselves a lot more distance and making it hard for them to catch up to us. For them, they had to put full throttle either by their tires or more fuel through them. Right now, we have the advantage of extra fuel that we put on board. That's what we have advantage of. So it's compensating for what we're using right now. And that's what we're using right now. We are trying to make our distance so much of a difference right now. It looks like the gap is starting to be bigger and bigger against them. We had the Ferrari right behind us at our doorstep, and now we're sort of making the gap a little bit harder for them. And now that we use that, now it's a debate. Either we use it all, recharge, or start saving on the tires themselves. Right now, the drivers have not complained about the tires at the moment, but we are going to be looking like they're going to be starting to cook the tires a little bit more than we want to. So far, I can see Team Haas is going to have to box sometime soon. They're at 50% on their soft compounds. They should have used it. And we got a yellow yellow somewhere on track. A lockup has happened. But no safety car out, so it looks like... So now we're going to recharge our batteries completely. And then we're going to start using our save compensating for the tires themselves. Just uh, charge the pack and concentrate on that. Yeah, okay. Let's see the tires right there. Six point two eight. So we are way ahead of them right now. We made a big gap against them right now. So for us doing this, we automatically made a very much of a good gap in between. So the question is, do we do a medium soft or should we do another set of hard compounds and then switch to the soft or mediums at the end? It looks like a 
hard compound may be our option here. Because if we go to the mediums, we may not make it to our next pit stop. Because we didn't do enough practice time with our hard compounds, we can't compensate for the long duration race timing. Now we're conserving battery right now. Multi crash happened on track. What happened out on there? What happened out there? Safety car has been deployed. Safety car has safety been. Car, safety car. Oh boy. That's a positive. 33 lamps. I'm going to go ahead and throw this on early. We're gonna throw these on early. Is that a crash? Multiple cars, I think. We can take a look now. Watch this. We're looking at Lando Norris. Oh, both drivers went off track. A serious collision. Pound the wolf. Now we're conserving fuel, save fuel, save fuel. Take down the pace, everybody put your racing speed down. We are gonna be boxing this lamp, box, 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 box this lamp. We need you to come in and we are gonna do a double stack, double stack. gonna be we're gonna go ahead and come in box the slam switch you in our sets and try to keep ourselves go no need to charge yeah, yeah. But right now, we're on the softest. Right now, we got ourselves a fresh set of tires on us on the car itself. So that means that the vehicle in front of us, which is Leclerc, that's on the medium compounds that are already worn out, he's going to have to box sometime soon. Everybody is all over the place on pit strategy. For us, we were already on the hards themselves. We just got ourselves that has a little bit more duration for us. So, yeah, I didn't want this, but it came out. So, we don't have much of a choice other, other than just deal with it. And because we are behind the safety car, we're trying to save, save, save. And because we got a lot of fuel on board on us, we are still able to do our full throttle still. That's what we have advantage of still, that we have a lot of fuel on board. We want to use up this fuel as much as we can. But we can't use it just yet under the safety car.
see. So far, Signs has ended up boxing for his lap, and he's in P6 right now. The only one that closes is only Signs, and he's in P6. Everybody else still has to box for their lap still, for their tire still. The TV for Williams is in the box itself. You can see our fuel numbers is starting to go back up again. Safety car is still out here, still. We're still ready for the go green again. Copy that. So use those tires. Okay. And we'll push. Safety car is in the pits. Let's see, is it? He's gonna get pressured. We're gonna pressure him into the corner with that because we are using full ERS and also pressure him straight to, and we also have new tires than he does. So he's not gonna be able to battle us for a long period of time. And Stafford has climbed right through there. And now Hamilton is the next one to overtake him. He's currently still right behind him, but he's pressuring him. See, he's overtaking him and he has completed the overtake. And that's what we're talking about. Well executed right then and there. Now that's applause there. And here comes those pit stops that I was talking about. Everybody is starting to run into the pits itself. Just like I said, they were going to have the box eventually during the safety car or uh, not in the safety car. In this case, they did it when the safety car was already back in, which means they're going to lose time in there. So I was not expecting them to do that. We had an easy safety car. The safety car could have saved them a pit stop. But instead, they decided to use it when they were under green, so. They've gone wide. Steins just went wide on him. But it doesn't look like it really affected him that much. So we are going to go ahead and deploy for a charge. So we have low on battery at the moment. DRS has been enabled. There's the DRS system. And there's more people going into the pits itself. What was the point of doing it later, guys? Now everybody's all bunched up all over the place now. I just don't understand what's their strategy. They they lost time. 
The only one that made time is only Team Haas. Everybody else ended up losing time. Even Mercedes got budged up. Russell and Leclerc, they're both still on the old, on the first set of tires still. Russell is still in P5 and Leclerc's in P3, but they are going to be having to get themselves off. And there goes Sainz into the box itself. And now he's going to start losing time because he is boxing this lap. So there's going to be a bunch of cars overtaking him. Yep, I thought so. This is the worst time for him to box during this lap. We are on our second stint very early. You can see here we are on our early stint. I didn't expect us to do an early stint right now. Okay. Roger that. So we're going to now drop the pace down because you heard Hamilton, his pace is overheating. But we're going to still recharge and then start continuing on. Another competitor, so that's Russell. He's in the pits. It's now, and look at the positions he's losing. Easy positions. Some P11. Now that we're fully charged, now we can start saving a little bit more on our tires. Because when we go full throttle, we're using so, no three times. So when we're going through this, we are going to start dropping ourselves a little bit. But we are going to end up prolonging our tires save by a lot.
Ugh. So right now we're saving tires, full throttle fuel, neutral battery. We're making up for the timing that we're not going to be able to use. The Ferrari is also doing the same plan as we are, so we are going to be keeping ourselves in a holding. We're pretty much like in a holding pattern. They're not gaining, we're not losing, so we're like in a holding pattern. The only thing we have, we have a teammate that's with us to automatically give us the DRS to be able to get us a little bit of a boost each time. So to compensate for our additional one down for us. So Using its aerodynamic and getting us to pull ourselves up front. If it goes all to plan, we'll be boxing around lap 55. That's the plan. Hey, listen. What was that? I was trying to aid the search. Huh? Dot, dot, dot. What are you doing, Johnny? Driver locked up. Is that a lock up? Teammates being teammates, they're going to end up almost interfering with each other still. Oh? Lockup. These guys don't know how to hold themselves back, it seems like. Sounds like someone's locked up. We got a problem in sector three. It looks like somebody has crashed. We got a wreck on track. We got a wreck on track. There's 
there's been a crash. Sounds like a single car. Let's see what happened there. Now let's watch this. The Alpha Romeo involved in this one. It's broken. There's the Anti stall. Crash. It's oh. off. Fuck! Yeah, it is. And they saw and crash. Crash out. We're now 30 laps into it, and lap 31 is coming up, and another car has ran wide. I think someone's run wide. Look at this. He made, you can see we're saving on fuel. We're only burning fuel, and our ERS is the only thing we have as our backup plan if we run out. Now we're going to go up to light. These tires. Okay. We're now going to use the tires a little bit more to make our gap. Blue flag, blue flag. You're going to be the lead cars are coming right behind you. So it looks like the Ferrari is trying to use less tire usage, but also using normal use of fuel, but using a lot of its ERS because so far it must be recharging its batteries because I don't seem to see it getting any closer again. Let's take a look at the data. Let's see. See. Yep. See, they're trying to cool down, but their gearbox is what's taking a plunder right now. Their gearbox is around 40. They don't end up being careful. I think you have to leave the space. All the time you have to leave the space. Yep, you're gonna have to leave the space. No heroics into Sandoval, please. We're in amongst the pack. There, yep. We are in the group, so gotta be careful. Yeah, putting some audio in there, so.
at 35. Science is trying to catch up to us and he's not getting any ground. He's losing ground from us. What, Johnny? What did you do now? Did you break something? Oh, did someone run wide there? Still doing good, still, we're still leading here. Ferrari has pretty much lost its composure a little bit. But we do have one more box still. We still have one more pit stop to our strategy. One more pit stop. Depending on when we're gonna box for our lap time. As you can see, I'm trying to keep an eye on our data here. It looks like we seem to be doing okay. We did have the box. There was a safety car here. So I wonder if the way we're here or there. Okay, copy. Conserve, conserve, conserve. Tires are getting way too heated. Save, save, save. So now we're trying to save even more. We're trying to save the tires to last longer now than expected. Same thing. His tires are overheating. So 2% for every single lap he's doing.
but I am going to try to finish this last part of the season. I know it's only been one season with Red Bull, but still, we are going to be following the same continuation as I did from this season. I'm going to do a Team Haas, then I'm going to do Alpine, and then I'm going to do a Red Bull and see where I'm at again. I want to see how would I would have fared against it. That's a challenge that I'm going to do. And we got to crash on course. Crash on course. Sounds like there's been contact. Let's have a look. Now, just watch the Mercedes here. Break, 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 break. Too close, too close. There's the collision. It's caused absolute carnage. Hey, listen. Darn. Emo. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. We got to try something here. We are under safety car rules and guidelines, so we are going to go under safety car. <laughs> really? We're not attacking. Okay. And here we go again with Deja Vu again. We are in these tires right now. According to this, we're going to barely make it to the end with this. Feet dragging a little bit. Seems like it, Johnny. I don't know why it's so angry. Yet another one. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why my drag only is a little bit in pain. Oh, 
I don't know why. So the lap cars will be passing us on this next upcoming lap, I think. Nope. The lap cars may now overtake the safety car now. The lap cars may overtake the safety car, which there's two behind us. Or two behind a sign. So you guess we're second and third, but there's two vehicles in front of us, so they're going to have to overtake the safety car. It looks like it's just going to be only those two at the moment. Pre-Flipper, welcome on in. We took advantage of these safety cars, but these other drivers are not. They're losing timing. Of course, Sign's got one up on us, but we got better tires than he does. We're able to go quicker than he can. We're one softer tire more better. I don't know why is he holding back with that. Ferrari usually has an excellent strategy. What? I'll just take it. I was not expecting him to drop it that quickly. So safety car is going to be in this lap. Safety car's in. Okay. Safety car is in this lap. Lap vehicle is going to be taking the safety through. Let's push. Understood. Reduce lift and course. Okay. Green light. Green light. Safety car is in. Come on. Okay. It's time to go, 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 go. Come on. Go for it. Use it. Now we're pressuring on science itself. He's going to be overtaken by us. He got us to the left. He got us to the right. We're trying to overtake him again. Try is on his inside. Doesn't look like it. And we got through. Looks like Hamilton overtakes him straight through into the S curves through there. Such an awesome job, mate. And he got it. Now it's for Stafford to also do the same thing. He's going to go on his left hand side. And he overtakes him, and because we're using Eris, we're gonna fly by him and get that it's done. Get in there, get it done. Red Bull moves up. And I see one vehicle hitting into the box itself. It's it's Russell. He went into the box itself and he's boxing for this left for some reason. We got a crash on course. We got a crash on course. 
Danny Ricardo has wrecked out itself. Just take a look at the McLaren. Brakes. Brakes. He locked up, hit the wall, and he lost his front wing underbody damage as he did during practice round. So we are low on battery at the moment. Copy that, copy that. We're recharging, we're recharging. So we're top of the RS. The RS has been enabled. Easily the fastest lap by country mile. There we go, the fastest lap has been set. Charge the pack. And there we go. We're overtaking straight through the sign. Slightly overheating tires, so I'm going to drop you down to light on both drivers. Until our battery, I won't drop it down to completely. We got it conserved either by dropping down the tires or having our batteries fully charged. <sighs> the last two races that we have here so we are down to the last two races this race if we went through here it may end up being the last bit that we had to get through we're going to end up more likely we ran through and we're going to be in the drivers and also it looks like we got the constructors in our sights here. We're already 800. They're barely into there. So we are pretty much locked into the season itself. Even with our penalty that we got, we still made it through. Let's go ahead and get on board on Hamilton. So charge off. Yeah, okay.
so now we charge our battery now we're just going to be doing normal power full throttle on fuel but we are conserving our tires as much as we can now we're going to switch over to stafford and which is in p1 So far, we're saving as much as our tires we can because we could use either another set of mediums or we could go directly to a pair of soft compounds. But I'm wanting to hold as much as I can from here. So, I know the pit strategy was definitely weird this time around because it wasn't our fault that we had to do that. We had two safety cars. The two safety cars definitely messed that up. How is working mode tiring? Yeah, that is weird. I would have said something differently. Not the case then. A car has spun out, another car has spun out. Who spun out? Who spun out? Got a yellow. Albon ended up spinning out. Wheel to wheel, side by side, both drivers are right next to each other. Was it emote? Pretty much nobody around. Yeah, it was, but there was practically almost nobody around then. I didn't get I don't get like all of this. Listen. Eh. It wasn't too much celebrating for me. It's pretty much just been just at home, just taking a chill. Just taking a chill as is. Oh, are you now? <laughs> Might be lurking, lurking in there later on then. Let's see what's going on. I know Vaz's challenges are a little bit over the top again. Get hunted as soon as you start walking in there. Let's 
Let's see, both there. Johnny, you know you got the sound alert. I know you could use it. I don't see why you keep typing it in. You got it in there. Unless you don't want to just keep scrolling through each one of them. Let's see. Vettel is doing the soft compound. Yeah, they're side by side, same. Pretty much we have an equal driver, so on both. Where's the Ferrari drivers? Some I have not seen them. Are they disappeared? I only see one. Where's the other Ferrari driver? Where are they? The they're also stacked up as well. Huh. That's strange. About Um I might jump in with you after this race. It's <laughs> might just drop it into yours then. According to this, <laughs> aim out. Really, aim out. Gonna save that for an arc one. Hey, oh, let me take a look. Who ended up putting it? Johnny. still want to activate your redeem or do you want me to give it back to you and save it for a different day stream? Your choice. Because next week will be an arc week that whoever has a lot of credits can mess with a whole bunch of stuff going to happen on that day. So you got a choice to either do it now, which I don't see why, because there's no point to me trying to start another race. It's gonna take another two to be able to do another race. Or you could save it until next week where I'm definitely gonna need extra timing. Your choice is go ahead and type in what you want. Accident. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Let's take a closer look. Now just focus on the hats. They've lost control, and there's the crash. 
I'm just asking you, Johnny, do you want to save it now? Or do you want to use it now, I meant? Or do you want to save it? Because <laughs> I know next week I'm definitely going to, you're going to need those extra hours. Okay, I'll go ahead and give it back to you. Because I'm just going to give it to you. Because next week you're going to have... Uh, you're definitely going to need it. So you're definitely going to need it for next week. So keep that in mind. Oh, come on, Emote. I'll just drop it into you, Emote. I need to end up being off myself. I'll drop you. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> Trying to get you to stream while playing tonight. Mm. Yeah. Well then, um, shoot, um, there. Sort of then. Nah, not even thinking straight. I'm already wanting to already be done. So that who's this? Hmm. I guess I we're in had a car run wide. Are you emote?
could have been a lockout. Yeah. Now we're within our 10 lap warning. 10 lap. Oh, we're almost to the end. Surprisingly, these tires last as long enough as I expected. Three, so it's not going to be in much. Well, at least we kept this pace up long enough to be able to maintain it. Six times remaining, let's keep this pace up. Let's go ahead and stay on the dashboard on these guys. We're already at the end itself. No one's gonna compete against us right now. The closest one is Leclerc and he's behind us. Let's get a side view. Now Hamilton. 
Hamilton's. Hamilton doesn't have his helmet. Seven laps remaining. Wait. Six, seven. Ah. Oh well. It's wrong anyway. Chief, man, welcome on in. Welcome on in. How are you doing? It's good to see you, my friend. And to you, too. Yeah. Hey, listen. <laughs> yep, thanks so much, G fam. Be nice to be jump scared and fast or any kind of ghost games that would have been for sure Ugh. five laps remain five laps remaining we got to keep the space up Taking a chill from work, at least didn't have that much myself at all, so. Looks like there's been a lockup. A lockup, but no safety car crash. Good. Four laps remaining, four laps remaining. Ah, oh, we're gonna be having ourselves. We're gonna be cutting it close here. Tires are falling off the cliff soon. The only one closest to us is this Ferrari. If this Ferrari driver goes in, we're gonna box in the next lap and we're gonna box double stack. Soft compound to the end of the race stint. We're debating if we're gonna be able to hold it that long. Come on, hold it together, tires. 
Three laps remaining. Ugh. Tires are about to fall off the cliff soon. We're down to 5% left on them. Come on, hopefully this strategy works out. Oh boy. it together come on hold it together <laughs> and I just hold it together we still got a few more. two more laps remaining come on hold it in there tires for these last two laps Together. Come on, hold it together. Just one more lap. One more lap after this. Come on, hold it together, tires. I know you're already at 32%, but I need you to hold it together. Oh boy. Last lap, last lap. Last lap of the race, last lap of the race. Hold it together now. Push it as much as you want. Just don't break the tires. We're already at that breaking point. I thought so. We're already at that breaking point. We're going to be coming in hot, very hot on this one. Get her. We're almost there. There goes the Stafford crossing the line, finishing this race right off. P1 with Hamilton and P2. What a race! Holding out until the very end. Over the finish line and today's winner. Let's take a look at the replay. And there it is, the Dutchman, Max Verstappen, has taken first. They can be really proud of what they've achieved today. A result like that doesn't just fall into your lap. There we go. Victory for us, guys. Victory all the way around. Now we have checkered flags now. It's a long way to go, but let's keep pushing. Nice work, Lewis. Normal end procedures, normal race end procedures. Over. P1, hold five seconds, P0. My golly, we have not pushed our tires that much. I made this strategy, and the strategy barely made it. I made it with the edge of my teeth, okay? 
the strategy was a little bit off, but I have made it work. At least the strategy made out for me and the best, at least for us, for this team. If I could do this on this season, what's to say next season of the game will be just the same, but time will tell. We're going to be finishing up, wrapping up. Max Verstappen was flying on the track this weekend, and this result says it all. And no doubt, Verstappen fans will be celebrating the Dutchman's achievement. Go. It was a hard-fought contest for all three drivers, each one securing precious points for their team. It is. Red Bull performed well here today. This was a very worthy effort from the team. You can see that the team runs like a well-oiled machine. Everything was precise and on point this weekend. After an intense weekend, the team ends in first place in the constructor standings. Formula One has almost reached its conclusion this year. Meet us next time in Abu Dhabi, between the desert and the sea, for an enthralling finale. You heard him. Final finale. We're finishing up the season. All right, Dima. All right, everybody. You know what time it is already. We just finished ourselves here. We just finished up for this race, guys. My golly. One more race, guys. This season, we are finishing playing F1 Manager 2022 on our next one of our episodes. We'll be finishing it before the F123 comes out. So do stay tuned, guys, so much. And, guys, with that in mind, we are going to raid out to Emo Sheepy, where we're going to play Phasmophobia together. So. so, guys, let's go ahead and head over there. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me here on this episode here. Thanks for your follow subs and everybody that has joined me on this episode here. Thank you so much for your support and everybody that came by. Thank you so much. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Thanks for watching.